Apple users, my Android users, get ready because I have 10 crazy cool apps like this one. If someone so much as touches my phone, it's game over. All these apps are available for free on both the App Store and Play Store. Plus, I will have links to them all down below. So for this one, you're going to download an app called iAntiTheft. This is what it looks like. And once it's installed, go ahead, open up the application. And the first thing you're going to do is set up a pin. So make sure this pin is something easy for you to remember. You just have to re-enter your pin code to make sure it's the same. And then what you can do now is anytime you want to leave your phone behind, like say at a restaurant table or your office desk, click Click that motion button, place your phone down, and you can just walk away. So now, if someone so much as tries to touch, pick up, or even move my phone, this super loud alarm will go off. It'll catch them off guard, and they won't know what is going on. This is so freaking cool because the volume button won't even work. They can't unlock your phone because they need a pin, and you can just basically catch them out. <laughs> Now, this next app is called Calculator Lock or Calculator X on an iPhone, and it looks like a totally normal calculator app, right? So go ahead, install this application, and when you open it, as you can imagine, it works like a totally normal calculator. So you can make all your calculations like you normally would, but this app is actually crazy because if you see this app on someone else's phone, well, then you know they have something sneaky to hide, and let me show you why. This is the actual setup you go through when you first open up the calculator app. You have to grant it access to all your files and put in a secret pin on the calculator pad, which once again, make sure you don't forget this pin number. Because now what happens is when you go to this calculator app and put in your secret pin, then click the equals button, watch an amazement as this hidden space is revealed. So this application basically creates a hidden space within your phone and disguises it as a simple calculator application. You can then go ahead and grab pictures out of your main gallery, place them in this hidden space, and when you go back to your phone's gallery, you'll see they're not there. So this app is actually one big illusion. And if you ever see this app on someone else's phone, then I dare you to ask them for their calculator spin and watch the expression on that face. <laughs> Now, this next app is called Walkie Talkie, and the same app is available on both Android and iPhone. Once you've downloaded this app and open it up, right over here at the top, you will see this public and private section. If you switch to private and click the on button, you're now on your own frequency, and here you can just push to talk to activate the Walkie Talkie. Here's where you can share your frequency with your friends or copy the link. And this app is actually great for when you're out shopping, in a big crowd, or even just at home. So now, anytime I want to chat with my friends, I just tap this button and chat away. Over. Eagle One, you are a go. Are you playing Flight Simulator again? No. Pretty cool. Now here's another really cool thing you can do on your phone thanks to this application called Microphone Live or Megaphone on Android. You do also need a little Bluetooth speaker for this one, but once you've downloaded the application, open up Control Center, then Bluetooth settings, and make sure you connect to that Bluetooth speaker. Then once you've opened the app, the first thing you'll see is you can adjust the volume just by swiping up or down like this. But when you get your speaker and click that power button, your phone's microphone switches on and starts picking up all the audio and plays it to the Bluetooth speaker like one huge megaphone. So if you've ever wanted to make an announcement or grab some attention and you don't have a mic, you don't have a cable or the whole rig, then just grab your phone, a little Bluetooth speaker, click the button and the bam you're good to go! Now, I cannot believe our phones can actually do this just by downloading a simple application called LED Flash and Strobe. This is what it's called on the App Store for iPhone users, but it is a slightly different app on the Android Store, and that application is called MP3 Strobe. Either way, once you've downloaded the application, go ahead and open it up, run through the basic setup, and then you will see other options on the application, but then go ahead and click on this music icon. So now, check this out, when I tap this button, it turns my phone into a freaking strobe light. This is such a nifty little application and perfect for parties. 
Now, this is no typical alarm app, but I guarantee you, not only will it wake you up, but you'll also be wide awake. The app I'm talking about is called Alarmy and it is available on both the Play Store and App Store. Once you've installed it on your phone, go ahead, open up the app and set yourself a new alarm. So here I was just setting my alarm for 5am, nothing crazy. Choose the days you want your alarm to go off, but here is where it gets really good. If you click on mission, you'll see a whole bunch of options and these are basically missions you have to complete in order to turn your alarm off. So I went with three fairly normal memory games and click the save button. Okay, now setup is done. This is what happens when your alarm goes off. You slowly get up, go for your phone, click that dismiss button, except now the only way you can turn your alarm off is by memorizing these tiles. It seems so simple, but it's actually really hard when you're first waking up. And if you get it wrong or lock your phone, the alarm will keep going off. I actually tried this app a couple of times and it's really annoying because it works so damn well. <laughs> Now, this next one is so beautifully mesmerizing. It's called Forge of Neon, and you're gonna get stuck in this one. So once you've downloaded and opened the app, go ahead, click that play button, then choose a preset you like the most. And now, as you draw on the screen, look at this amazing design that appears. If you click on the settings button, you can then go and choose from a whole bunch of different colors, draw again, and create another design over the previous one. You can just keep going and going with different colors, different styles, different patterns until you have the most amazing artwork. And then what you can do from there is turn the artwork around, rotate it, turn it upside down, side to side, or even choose from any one of these six different spin patterns to watch your design go round and round. Oh man, <laughs> this just looks so so cool. What's even more epic is you can even save this design as a video or picture just by exporting it to your phone's gallery. And I'm just saying, when you play this game, you can get stuck in these graphics for hours. Whoa. <laughs> Now this next app is some of the best fun you will ever have on a smartphone. It's really cool. The app is called AR Looper and once again, it is available on both Android and iPhone. And once you've downloaded the application and opened it up, you will see a whole bunch of different categories to choose from. There's topics like entertainment, animals, art, and even dinosaurs. In each category, there are a million different options to choose from like these. Some of them are paid for, but most of them are free. But choose the one you wanna see in AR, then just do this motion with your hand while holding your phone. And this is where it gets really amazing because now you're in the full experience. You can completely walk around the dinosaur while in your space and look at every single detail. It even makes sounds and is basically life-sized. Okay, no, wait, wait, wait. This one is pretty good. Is there writing on that TV? As you can see, they're extremely detailed. Like on this TV, it says, free your mind. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this AR app, it's kinda, it's crazy. So I don't know what magic this is, but what you do is go ahead and download an application called Chrome Remote Desktop. Then you're gonna search for the same thing on your computer and also install that, and then start running through all the setup. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, there are a couple of steps involved, but I promise you, it's gonna be worth it. Once you've done all that and your phone has successfully connected to your computer, now what you can do is open the Chrome Remote Desktop application from anywhere in the world and have complete access to your computer through your phone. So this is me literally operating my laptop from my iPhone, opening up files, checking out system preferences, and a whole bunch of other different things. There is literally no limit as to what you can do on your computer through your phone. So the fact that you can control your computer from anywhere in the world, that's just crazy. <laughs> Now, this next one is like that crazy CSI magic, except on your face. 
This app is called Remni and is also available on both Android and iPhone. And once you've downloaded it, go ahead, open the application, and here you'll see you can start choosing pictures to enhance. So I just chose this blurry one I took off mic, and once it has processed the image, you can use this little slider to compare the before and after. Not only that, you can choose to enhance the picture even further, and honestly, I was super amazed at how well it did. And here you can see just what I mean when we take a look at the close-up. Once you're happy, you can then go ahead and save this picture to your gallery. Once again, here's just a closer look at two pictures I tried out and I was super impressed. So it must be using some kind of AI technology or something like that to put more details in on these blurry pictures and it's actually really good. A plus. So these are 10 crazy apps you now know exist and don't forget to check out these videos right over here and I'll see you in the next one. Toodles!